What's up YouTube? It's First Shift here and today I'm going to show you a new uh, smart widget or the clock where it's been out but I'm going to show you how to theme it as you see right here if uh, theme this one and uh, I'm going to show you how to get this now uh, I'll show you the other one I have here Let me turn this off as you see right there so I got two uh two styles for you guys and uh, I'm going to show you how to get both of these in my more info section I'm going to have a download link and it's going to come with uh, three options as I have right here these are them and to get these all you have to do is unzip them save them to your desktop and after you've done that we need to go into Cydia so let's go ahead and do that and load up Cydia and uh, if you don't have the smart widget um, repo yet, I'll have that in the more info section. You're going to need that um, repo to get this. So let me show you what that is. Let's see load here. Now, after you've loaded up, all I want you to do, if you do have the uh, Smart Widget repo, is go into here, go to, down to the repo. And if you don't, that's the repo right there. I will have that in the More Info section. And I want you to slide down until you get to this. Patrick Odin Clock. Now go ahead and install that. And after you install that, your uh, phone or iPod Touch will respring. So once you've done that, and uh, you got it on your... Uh, set up on your smart screen and it's on your lock background next thing we're going to need to do is SSH into our phone so go like this and all we're going to do is backspace once go down to mobile library and search for smart screen. Now once you found smart screen, go ahead and click into it and look for the one that says POC clock. Click into that and the original one's going to be named BG underscore PNG. All I want you to do is right click, rename, and add a one at the end of it like here. And then on that download link I gave you, pick the one you want to use there's three choices. Um, all you're going to name it, all lower case is BG. As you see this one, just BG. So once you found the one you wanted, all you do is drag and drop it into your uh, theme. So as you see, I would grab this and I just drag and drop it in there and it'd be good to go. So once you've done that, it'll be set up. Now what you will have to do after you have that set up is um go to smart screen now if you're using the free version it's kind of a pain in the ass because you're going to have to shut it down and reload it but uh basically if you use the black one that i have on here which i'll show you again if you're using this one i'll show you how to set it up i'll use this as a template <clears throat> so if you go into it i want you to put font size to 48 and then down here i want you to put depending where you live, if you use 24 hours or uh, if you use 12 hour clock, okay? And all we're gonna do is, come on, I'll start all over, is put eight lowercase h h space m m space s s. Now, that's for 12 hour clock. Now, if you're using 24 hour, which let's go ahead and do it just to show you. So let me erase all this and I'll put a 24 hour clock. You're going to do capital H, capital H, space, MM, space, SS. Done. Okay, now on the color, to make it, because it is black, I want you to put it all to white. Now you could adjust all the colors right from up here. So this is where you get your color from. So change that to white. <clears throat> and on the offset, that's where it sets on the picture, which <clears throat> on this one, 
my other phone I'll show you how to do all this because that one is the paid version so I have a preview so put that offset all the way down to zero okay and now for this one this app this template I'm showing you will work for two different ones here it'll work for this one right here and this one right here so both of these will work for this template at 48 uh, hour hour space minute minute space second second put it at white if you're using the black background now down here this is for the time or the date and all that so you could set the offset if you didn't want it on there you could put this all the way off or you know move it around as you like so as you've seen I did change it to a 24 hour clock so on the free uh, smart widget program all you have to do is close out of it shut it off and then I'll reset it and see right there now if you want to change the font on it you do go about it the same way so on the other one that I gave you guys an option on which was this other flip clock one right here I'll show you how to set that one up now this one is a paid version of it so I do have a preview as you see that's what it looks like so let's go to smart screen let that load as you see it's right there um, font you could pretty much pick any font for both of these I'd stay away from the uh, italic um, and just use a bold or whatever but stay away from the italic on this one I want you to set the font size to 72 and then for the uh, hours and minutes this one's a little bit different since you're not using seconds I want you to go hour hour space space minute minute so that it's not just one space it's two spaces in between it so that's how you'd set up this one and like I said this one has a preview so you can see how it'll set up. So I'll show. I'll, I'll do something just to show you how it'll work. Let's change the font. Uh, let's go to uh, the Apple preview. As you see, the font's changed. And as you see, the time messed up because I changed the font. So let's change that. So if you come down here to the time or the date and all that, I'm going to turn the opacity up a little bit. See how that looks. And there you go. So it's just trial and error depending on which one you use, which font you use. Um, again, on the flip clock, the white one, with the, without the seconds, you have to set the font size about 72. Reason being, if you go any smaller, it's not going to fit in there. It's going to be real small. So uh, that's just showing you how to set this one up. Um, but again, this is just showing you how to theme two different uh, smart widget uh, flip clocks. You know, I got two of them on there, so I just want to show you both of them and give you the option of both of them. As you see, there's one there and one there. So, uh, again, this first shift, please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, most of this, I mean, the template's there, so it's just you guys are going to have to fine tune it in there. What's great about it, once it is set up, you can wiggle the uh, widget and move it around wherever you want so all this that you change stays with it wherever you move it so it's not like it it only could be fixed in one spot you can move this clock anywhere you want it doesn't have to stay in one spot so uh again i hope you guys enjoy this video it's just a quick video on it and uh please rate comment subscribe you can follow me on twitter and on facebook i'll have a link for both of those in my description as well and more info and uh I'll be doing another video pretty quick here, so I uh, just wanted to do a little quick video on a smart screen flip clock widget. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys soon.